Good day, everyone, and welcome. Merry Meet. My name is Glennis, and I want to thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. This is going to be just a brief sharing. I am so incredibly excited about Emolk. And I wanted to share some of the things that I'm going to be doing this year. It's a special year. It's my first one here at the Hollow. And so I'm very, very excited about that. But winter is, as, as you can see, it, it has just been a wonderful, wonderful winter. I've got no complaints. But winter now is a time to think of snow, a combination of snow and sun snow and ice, snow and fire, some scrying, but I'm going to take this opportunity to celebrate, not only celebrate Emolk, but use it to my best advantage. I'm going to show you a few steps that I'm going to take, but the first thing that I'm going to do, and I'll, I will show you everything that I've assembled together in just a moment. But the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take a relaxing, warm, cleansing bath. Let all of it go, starting from the tip of my head <laughs> to the tip of my toes, and to release all negativity that I could have built up while the work has been progressing here. And it has been progressing, and it is still in progress. So you not only want to physically relax yourself and cleanse yourself, but you want to charge yourself up for the upcoming spring and summer. I'm going to. One way that I am going to start my Emolk celebration ahead of time is by taking a cleansing bath. I'm actually going to take two. One before I go into my sacred space and one after I finish in my sacred space. But what I've assembled here is I do have some milk powder and of course that's strongly associated, milk is strongly associated with emolk. And I have some, you know, just some old fashioned oatmeal that I ground up. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. One thing that I did not grind up was some jasmine. And Jasmine will, will play a role in a little bit. And I have a friend here standing by. He's ready. He's ready for spring as well. I have some ground salt here. Or if you have uh, Epsom salt, anything like that is totally fine. And I have a some protection oil that I've had for quite a while. I'm gonna add just a few drops. Not too many. Because what I'm going because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna after I get this mixed up, I'm gonna allow this to lay flat and for the oils to slowly absorb into this. I've got vetiver here. I find vetiver very relaxing. And that should just about do it. But uh, what I'm going to do, simply because I have my jasmine in here and my oatmeal, and I don't want it to clog my tub or, you know, hurt anything. Uh, oh my goodness. I'm going to put mine in small bags. You know what I think? I think I'm gonna boost this up a little bit because it has been quite, quite <laughs> the winter. I've got some dried 
rose petals. Going to add these. As you can see, I think you guys can see, I'm not quite sure. I've been drying some roses. They just, you can add them to almost virtually anything. But what you want to do is, and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna grab just a goodly amount of this, a couple handfuls, whatever will fit in my bag here. And I, you know, bought these just at the big store. If you have muslin, that's perfectly fine too. But I've got this and what I'm gonna do is hang it over my faucet, or you can just run a very warm tub and you know, as long as this is tied off, throw it into your tub and allow it to steep. Or if you have someone kind of close by, then you can just bottle this up like that. Or another option is, uh, I actually do have a few containers here. I have a very small one, how cute, right? And I'm just going to just layer it a wee bit. A few, few more petals, excuse my reach guys. And I'm going to just put the Petal right in the top here. I, I don't think it's. I seem to. Have, oh, here it is. Clean it up a little bit. Now that would be so so nice for someone. But what you want to do is you know either hang it on your your nozzle and let the water run through it. That in it of itself gives a great deal of energy. The water. But if you have to steep it, then steep it. But once you've filled it with warm water, just totally, now's the time to splurge to fill up your tub. Totally immerse yourself. And, you know, through meditation, I hope that you guys have practiced relaxing your body bit by bit. You, you know, you go through that mental checklist. Okay, you have to let your arms go, your shoulders go, your back, all the way down to your feet. So you are totally, totally relaxed. And, and spend a few minutes after you're relaxed and visualize any negativity you might have encountered or if you feel that has just stuck to you just go out of your body and visualize this. I, I can't express how important it is to visualize. If you want to visualize it as brown, black, whatever, then visualize that leaving your body, leaving your aura. And when you feel ready, stand up and carefully, of course, get out of the tub. And after you've gotten out of the tub is when you release the plug so that all of the negativity you have washed away and is absorbed by the water can be drained totally away. But a beautiful skin softening blend for Imolk. So a cleansing bath, not only physically, but my my mind and my soul and and it just as it turns out and i you know i have spoken about this before there is no such of a thing as a coincidence i there's absolutely not but as work has progressed here from the kitchen to the living room to the library and going that way towards my craft room I'm going to take this opportunity of 
celebrating in Mulk and all of the energy that we have around us here, I'm going to absolutely take everything out of my craft room, office room, because it, it is both now. Do a thorough, not only cleaning, but a cleanse of any negativity, because as some of you know, I moved in here rather quickly and haphazardly. Nothing was finished, and although work is still ongoing, I'm getting to the point where that room has got to be finished and finished. So everything's coming out. Everything's going to get a cleaning and a cleanse because, you know, again, energies build up and you don't need that. I've also shared and made up for you guys a emulk oil that you can anoint your candles with. Think red candles, think yellow candles, think warmth, think brightness, think the sun. But you can anoint candles, any number of things that it's only limited to your imagination, only limited to your imagination and what you need it for. I'm going to be doing, like I said, a cleanse of my altar area, my craft and my working area, and I'm going to anoint a lot of my altar tools with the emulk oil that I have made up. Um, my Somewhere here, <laughs> my, my salts are drying, they're charging, they're gathering energy. I'm getting ready to make my emulk uh, oil, my anointing oil. Now, I don't recommend the, you anointing your body with this. Some have sensitive skin, so this is exceptional for anointing some candles. And there's, uh, you know, other things. Your car, as uh, unusual as that sounds, uh, I absolutely do. But this is just a, a beautiful, beautiful blend. What I've got here is about, let's see, about five pumps of just a organic jojoba oil. It's just my personal preference. I'm going to add mm, probably about five drops of jasmine oil. And if you guys remember, jasmine is also in the bath salt blend. I've got a combination here of lemon and rosemary. I'm going to just do equal amounts of everything, five. Lemon is a, an exceptional cleanser. I'm going to add a little more. And a little bit more lavender. So probably seven drops in total of lemon and lavender. Rosemary. And what I'm going to do, just out of an abundance of caution, is to put a couple of drops of my protection oil here. And there's, of course, some protection oil in my bath as well, my bath salts. And there I go, a beautiful emulk anointing oil. I'm also going to be making a small emulk altar or centerpiece, whatever it is that you want to call it, for my kitchen. So I have just some kosher salt here. representing snow as it's snowing today. I think that might be enough. I think it might be. My pine cone. Find some really pretty bay, bay leaves. I'm going to add a crystal 
for cleansing. I think I might add this one. And there you go. Just a very simple little altar to remind you if you head in the kitchen first thing in the morning, like some of us do, to remind you to cleanse. It's a new start. And oh my goodness, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful upcoming year. I've made up several small, intimate emulk altars one for the kitchen because i have been spending a lot of time there to remind me that things are going to change very very soon and always for the better and to embrace the growth the spiritual growth the physical manifestations that we have here and many numerous other things but think growth and so as I work in the kitchen I have my small altar there I have one as a centerpiece for my coffee table in my living room that's fragrant with all of the relaxing oils that I've put in there that make me think spring sun excitement I'm going to add another one for oops, for my table. I think that I have enough here. Uh yeah, I think I think I'm going to add some rose to this. <clears throat> but first, uh-oh. <laughs> First, if I can find it, I think it has disappeared on me. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess it's disappeared. I was looking for my protection oil, but I think what I'm gonna do is the uh, blend that I just made up, I think what I'm gonna do is just a few drops of this, one here, 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 maybe in a rose, and in my pine. And not only will this be absolutely beautiful, it's going to remind you of a wonderful, wonderful year. Another excellent way of celebrating emulk is by scrying. Scrying totally, absolutely by fire. Or if you have a crystal ball, if you want to scry in some smoke as you go about your celebrations, but definitely fire. I hope that you have enjoyed all of the small things that I have shared with you, but they are just huge, huge things that help us to celebrate the season. When I finish in my craft room, the next thing that I'm going to do is to take another cleansing bath because, you know, you're, you're renovating and, you know, you get frustrated. You might become a little bit negative. So any little thing I do in there is going to get cleansed away. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. I hope that you find a small, special little project that you can do. I've got my seeds charging on my altar and I am very soon gonna start making plans for the garden and thank all my gods and all my goddesses that I am where I am and doing very, very well. Emma, blessings to you and yours. <laughs>